Howdy folks, how are we doing? Uh, right, today we're going to be looking at um, these rock mounts. Now, these are a mounting system uh, for GoPros, tablets, like that, phones, all sorts of things. Um, now, they're made by a company called Scanstrut. Um, who've been building these sort of things for um, the marine industry now for a few years. And they've recently launched this sort of uh, I don't know, ag spec range that's more suited to agricultural, you know, um, to use in agriculture. Um, so like I say, it will support um, action cams, big cams like what uh, will you're viewing me on at the minute and you'll see that in the video in a minute um, which is what I was really interested in tablets phones all that sort of stuff um, fully adjustable body what's well, the main thing I'm using is this uh, vacuum mount I've got here so now I can show you I've got another uh, mount here and sort of show you what it's all about it's a full alley body it's all alley uh, bone, dog bones in it. Um, seems very well made. This attachment here is for the big camera, so that um, I can mount that, and you'll and you'll see that later in the video. Um, you've got various different mounting options, as you can see here. You got um, at the minute you got a normal surface mount which you can screw on, you've got an adhesive mount, a cable tie mount and the vacuum mount and a rail mount as well. And for the clamps you've got a tablet clamp, a phone clamp like I said, action cam and the mini camera one and then you've got a base adapter as well so plus a few other adapters. Um, so it's a start of the minute, they need to um, uh, they need a few more things to come out, I think, to be a complete range. But for a start, it's a good start. So um, we'll see how they go. Right, as you can see, we're out in the field now. We are doing a bit of muck spreading. And I've just got the thumbs up. So this is the main reason I wanted to um, uh, test the, these rock mounts. Hopefully you should be able to see out of that camera. That camera is being supported by the uh, the vacuum mount, the suction mount. And that's what I'm really interested to, to find out whether it can whether it can do it. That camera weighs about 1.1, 1.2 kilogram. So it's a fair lump. And I've always, you know, it's an expensive camera. Uh, I've always very dubious about putting a mountain on anything that's not a real good fix. I mean, but to be honest, it doesn't get mounted on anything that's um, not fixed like a tripod. This is the first time I've dared mount it onto a suction mount. So, I know we're in a fast track and we've got over such a comfy ride, but we're still getting quite a few shock loadings from going over ruts and um, going over that track there. And it is yet to fall off. So yeah, so that, you know, the GoPro is good, good for in getting cab work and that sort of stuff. It's so small, maneuverable. You would never get as good a quality as you will with that puppy there. So, um, like when I'm doing sort of um, road stuff or on the road and that, I aim to um, be using that to do a bit more recording rather than the GoPro. So. If, it, uh, if the rock mount allows me to do that, that's what will happen. I mean, the rock mount still needs it, it does still need a bit of development, um, which I'll show you in a minute when I get parked up. Because at the minute, you can only have one connector. Just follow this up. Bottom metal done as well. Let's 
So you can't you can't get away from from like the the mount doesn't give you enough room. Like I can't mount the um, the big camera on the back window and have it pointed forward because there's not enough. The camera overhangs quite a bit, so there's not enough to um, there's not enough length in the body to get it away so it doesn't hit the glass. After talking with the, uh, the guys at the scan struck, they assure me that um, they are coming out fairly soon. Do a bit of nick back now. Holding nice and steady, you are. Right, shall I show you now the? Um The limitation with it, we hook it back on. All right, like that. Now, see, if I wanted to mount that on the back window, I need an extra, need a slightly longer body, or a double, a double body, if you know what I mean. But just a slightly longer body would uh, give you a lot more flexibility. I could then mount to the to the rear window of this and get a proper true forward facing shot with it. See this bit here is being filmed with the GoPro 6. We're mounted on the outside of the obviously on the outside of the door glass here. 
again, it's not something I'd normally, um, I wouldn't normally mount the GoPro in this way, especially in the six, because it's 500 quid's worth. Um, Normally like to go for a you know a positive mounting, i.e. a I normally like to go for a positive mounting, like a uh, uh, clamp clamp type one or uh, the mag mount. You might say, well, you might say the mag mount's not a positive thing, but it's such a powerful magnet that um, unless you hit it with something, like um, you knock it off with a branch, it's not going to come off no matter how rough the terrain is or anything like that. Um, so this is this is the first time I've dared put the GoPro on the outside with a with a um, with a suction mount. So you know, on the right here, we've got a typical eBay suction mount, one that I've been using for I don't know a couple of years, and uh, it does the job. Does the job. The only trouble being, it's got very limited movement. Um, you got an up and a down like that, and you got a left and a right like that. You could do it. Could do with another axis in it because um, it does limit your movement when you have it um, on a you know not straightforward or to the side so but um, as you can see this the the rock mount has got a considerably larger it's got a considerably larger um, suction mount on it probably I don't know one and a half times the size something like that the weight differential is is quite quite a, you know um, there's a good difference in weight this eBay one is all plastic where this the scan strut one is all aluminium and all metal and of course you've got the um, added benefit you can have it in any position you want well as a test so far it's doing pretty well that camera's been hanging on there for I don't know about an hour now I suppose in the field and obviously on the way home yeah, it didn't fill off yet so it's obviously a good test in my opinion but we'll see how they perform in the future obviously I'm going to keep using them because uh, they're very handy um, come on China. especially for the usual GoPro in cab, that'd be very ideal. Hopefully, um, scan sickle, um, they hopefully they'll hopefully they'll come out with some more uh, attachments, i.e., the extended body, that sort of thing, so I can mount the big camera on the back of the windscreen or on the front of the windscreen. Thanks to Scanstruck for sending me their rock mini range for me to have a look at. Hopefully they will release the extended bodies and um, other adapters and stuff that I mentioned in the video just to complete the range. 
Um, but uh, obviously I'll be able to keep you updated with things as they progress. I should be using them in upcoming videos as usual. Now I've got them, so uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the vid and I'll see you on the next one. Ta-ta!